At Tel Aviv's Saraski Hospital, the race to vaccinate the population is in full swing. It's about protection, confidence, getting back to normal, of course. But as Israel leads the way with its vaccine program, they are now able to build a vital real-world picture of just how effective the vaccine is. <laughs> Ronnie Gamzu is the hospital director. He's been the government's chief corona advisor, and he's somewhat of a celebrity around here. I believe, truly believe, this is the beginning of the end because the vaccine creates the immune response. We see that clearly, and we see a change in the people that are becoming uh, severely ill with corona and moderately ill with corona. People that have got the vaccine are more protected. Until now, we could only rely on the clinical trials to determine efficacy. But now, with a quarter of the population here inoculated and 75% of those over 60, the real results of the Pfizer jab are emerging. Professor Ran Balasa is the data cruncher, a physician, epidemiologist and chief innovation officer at Clalit, the country's largest healthcare provider. We compared 200,000 people above the age of 60 that were vaccinated. We took a comparison group of 200,000 people, same age, not vaccinated, that were matched to this group on various uh, variables. And then we looked to see what is the daily positivity rate. And we saw that there was no difference between vaccinated and unvaccinated until day 14 post-vaccination. But on day 14 post-vaccination, a drop of 33% in positivity was witnessed in the vaccinated group and not in the unvaccinated group. It matches Pfizer's clinical trial data, but does raise real questions about the UK strategy for delaying the second dose. The UK government paper justified the second dose delay because they judged that the Pfizer vaccine was 89% effective 14 days after the first dose. That's much more than the preliminary Israeli data suggests. The practice in Israel is to provide the second vaccine at three weeks. So we are following protocol. Would uh, the level of protection um, again, in general and against specific new strains going to be uh, changed if one is not taking that second dose? Uh, all of these are open-ended questions and only time will tell. The analysis is preliminary, but it's based on real-world data. And here they say it suggests that the UK efficacy estimate of 89% after one dose of Pfizer is very optimistic. Mark Stone, Sky News in Tel Aviv.